Hi guys, I'm used to saying morning everyone. It's not morning, I have been at the hairdressers, so it's the obligatory I've been to the hairdressers live, just to come on and show my hair off. It's dropped, it's raining, but I'm quite pleased. Anyway, to, to the real business, um, you guys know how much I love the decor wax from Redesign with Prima. Uh, so I thought I'd come and show you. Now you've seen me do stripes, you've seen me do some dry brushing in the last couple of weeks. I am now going to, and I think you've seen me do spots a couple of weeks, but well, it's probably more than a couple of weeks back. Hi Teresa. If, um, if anyone's watching, just drop me a little comment because it's always lovely to have a bit of interaction and I can have a chat and answer any questions. Hi Sue. So I'm going to use the Leopard Stick and Style um, stencil roll. So I've cut myself off, off a piece already, but this is how it looks. And let's just peel a little, back, little bit back carefully so you can see. So that's what you get, and it's on a big, you know, you've got loads. It's really, it's reusable, but because I don't want to have to, I just wanted a little chunk. So when I put the camera down, you'll see, um, you'll see what I've done. So I have got a brand new pot of Element. So again, you usually see me using Eternal, which is really frustrating for you guys if you haven't got it yet, because it's run out in most places. But this is my next favourite colour, Element. It's so pretty. It's a really good coppery colour, um, but it's, it's quite muted. Um, and again, I'm going to show you why I've picked this colour over Eternal when I move the camera down. So I've got my trusty two inch brush, but I might have to be uh, a little bit more careful um, because I need to pick out where I'm going to use it or not. So I've also got a little brush because my other wax brush I've left in the kitchen and I'm not running down in the rain because my hair will drop even more. So I'm going to get cracking with this one. I'm going to move the camera down and just talk to you why I've made the choices I've made. And um, you might see this corner of this piece, which is if you if you saw a photo I put up yesterday of a work in progress. I don't want to give too much away, but this is this is that that corner of that desk. Uh, hi Julie. Okay, so I want to make sure I can get you in. So there we go. So we have Violet Hill over um, black silk, which is the colours Anchor. Um, hi Kimberly and Wendy, and who else have we got there? Susan, Mandy, lovely guys, thanks for jumping on and watching. So, black silk, sorry, are you still there? I had put do, do Not Disturb on, but my phone still rang for some reason, so sorry about that if it caused a blip. Um, so yeah, so this is the new silk. Sorry guys, are you still there? Are you still watching? Can you still see me? Somebody, somebody might put a comment in and, and make sure that I'm still, you're still there for me. <laughs> I think you are. I'm still seeing comments. Sorry about that. Um, okay, so we have the black anchor, which is, uh, sorry, the black silk paint, which is anchor. And we have a bit of Violet Hill. And I thought it would be fun to add some leopard print as well. I've had this, combination in my mind for, for a little while um, and I finally decided that this was the piece that it was going to work on. So this is the reason, hi Susan, thank you for that, yes I think I think we're, we're back on, thank goodness we didn't get to, I didn't have to restart everything. So if you can see, I don't know if it picks up really well, the, the metallic in the writing is not quite the gold of the eternal. Hi Elaine! But look how, can you see the match? Can you see how well? It's just got that slightly copper shimmer to it. And it, uh, yeah, Eternal is just perfect. So let's go for it. As I said, I've got a smaller brush because I just wanted a bit more control than a two inch brush can give me. I'm not gonna use all of this. I'm just gonna basically fill in the gaps. I don't want a solid line either. I'm gonna have a bit of a wiggly line. We'll do a quick reveal and then we're done. And the great thing about these stick and style stencils is that you can, um, hi Sharon, and Sharon, and Shelley, <laughs> uh, is that you can, you know, if you do see a little bit that, that raises up, you can just, uh, you can just press it down as you go. Um, but it's, 
I've said this before, if you have struggled with stenciling in the past where you get bleed through with paint, then this is a really good option. Not, not just for the stick and style, but for any stencils is using this decor wax because of the consistency. It's much easier to control and you, you don't get the bleed through. And with all stenciling, you, you tend to use like this sort of pouncing motion because uh, it makes sure that you get the gaps filled in but if you would if you were trying to do this at an angle you'd potentially lift the stencil hi Tezza and Patricia Brenda thanks for watching guys so I think it's a really I mean it's not exact but it's it's a much better match than the eternal on in this instance and like I said I wanted to get give you some guys um, some different colors because I do eternal quite a lot it's everybody's favorite and it is beautiful but it's very frustrating if you can't get hold of it and I know at the moment that stocks are tricky Patricia you're watching from Ireland again thank you very much And the great thing about this is, like I said, it's reusable. So I'm gonna, I'll turn it and it won't, you know, it looks so random. It won't look like I've just used the same little piece because these are so irregular anyway. I don't know why I really fancied using these, this leopard and a floral. I really, it just, it floated my boat. <laughs> Morning, Terry. So what have you guys been doing? I'm gonna do that one, but leave that because it's a half piece. What have you guys been doing? Actually, is it your morning? Is it, it's quite early for you guys, isn't it? Oh, it's evening for you, Paula. Where are you watching from? Early morning, yeah, early morning in Arizona. So I think the majority of um, you guys, if you're watching from America, it will be early morning. So it's nice, I might have a different, because I, I tend to like going on here around 9.30ish, um, which is way early for most of you. So I might have a different, a couple of different viewers today, which will be nice. Australia, oh, so it's, in, even, of course it's an evening in Australia, yeah. So just where I've got these pieces that, can you see on the edge there? They don't, they, they, uh, the whole shape goes over the edge. So I'm just kind of feathering in those to give a softer finish. Otherwise I think it would look a bit weird and a bit too solid. So I'm just gonna do a bit in those ones. I've changed my mind a little bit. And if I don't like it, I can always paint over it. Okay, so should we do a little reveal? I've been really careful not to press down on where the little pieces of my transfer, so fingers crossed oh Cheryl you're sat watching from the pub oh oh I'm quite jealous <laughs> little reveal little reveal little reveal oh good it's not pulling the transfer up Yay. yet <laughs> there we go how cute is that? <laughs> I like it. What do you think? You're supposed to be leaving Ireland to fly to Oklahoma to visit my... Oh, it's all been cancelled, Patricia. Oh, no. Oh, that's, that's bad news. So you're watching me instead. So what do you think, guys? I'm quite pleased with that. I'm going to do a little bit more up this edge. Um, <laughs> Cheryl, it looks quite cool, doesn't it? So I'm gonna just turn it there and pop it and just do a few more here. But I mean, you guys don't need to see me do the same kind of reveal, but I know you tend to like me carrying them. Patricia, fabulous. Is that a real word? I've seen you use that before. <laughs> I love it. Did you make that one up? Fabulous. Apparently there's a couple of things that I've said that make you guys laugh. So when I say higgledy piggledy, that makes you all chuckle. Oh, 
I love that. I love some of the words in the English language are great. Maybe I should do that on a live one time. What's your favourite unusual word? Kerfuffle is one of my favourite words. <laughs> oh, it's such a kerfuffle. Love it. So what's the weather like with you? Fan freaking amazing. <laughs> yeah. It's raining and really cold. Like literally two weeks ago, I was, it was so hot. We had a, like a last minute heat wave and I was in this workshop 10 days ago maybe, wearing shorts and a vest with sweat pouring off me. And now look, I mean, I'm not in workshop clothes today because this isn't, um, this isn't, uh, I call messy work. The painting is where I make a mess. This is pretty clean work. But yeah, I was, it was, I was sweating. Flip flops. And now it's pouring with rain. It's horrible. Uh, I've just seen a question come through. What colour am I using? I am using Element Decor Wax. So it's, it's this sort of coppery, um, like a brassy copper. It's not a really intense in your face copper. It's really, really pretty, really pretty. Your late uncle used to say it, the fabulinius. It's, it's a cool word. And you know, my, Patricia, I often talk to you, well not talk to you, but mention that my nan was from um, Southwest Ireland. Um, and she used to say, say shellacabuki. Is that right? For snail? Or did she make it up and I believed her all this time? <laughs> shellacabuki, loved that word. <laughs> Sunny but cool. Oh, you've got sun, I'm jealous. Jealous, jealous. So someone's in the pub, jealous of them. Someone's got sun, jealous of you. I would like to be in a pub in the sun. <laughs> 38 degrees in Wisconsin. Is that Fahrenheit though, or Celsius? If it's Fahrenheit, I think that's cold, but if it's Celsius, it's pretty hot. Is that the right way around? Okay, I'm going to leave it there, guys, because I, you know, it, there's only so much of watching me dab away with decor wax that I'm sure that you can take. So I'm going to just do a last little reveal for you. I just thought it was a bit funky. Okay, let's turn you up. 70 earlier this morning, but oh, 105 high. Wow. You want rain. Oh. Shella, are you going to check? Yeah, please find out for me if Shella Kabuki was real or whether my nan actually made it up. Because that would, I mean, if, it, if she made it up, then fair play, because I've believed it till now. Um, okay, so I'm hoping that that's given you a bit of excitement and maybe a bit of inspiration. Um, I've got a feeling there's one person that I know that watches stuff. Hi, Helen. You snook on. One person that watches... Um, and I think she's going to really, really fall in love with this piece. Thanks. A little bit of a hair flick, especially for Helen. That one's for you. <laughs> if it was a bob, I'd be doing that constantly. Those people that have bobs that just go that all the time. Um, and how many, we got, how many people we got watching? We've got about 35 people watching. So I can't tell you much, but I have something exciting to announce in, in the near future. Well, I think it's exciting. So... I mean, that's it. You're not getting any more than that. But in the next few weeks, I'm hoping to be able to let you know something really cool. And, and, and that's it. I'm not going to give you any more than that. <laughs> um, and I hope you've enjoyed watching. As I always ask you to, if you've watched on Catch Up, if you're not watching this live, if you can just pop a hashtag replay. My words aren't coming out very well. Hashtag replay in the comments for me. And um, if you haven't already, if you can pop on and follow and like my page, that would be great too. Thanks, guys. Cheers for watching. Bye.